Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix, and today I'm going to be reviewing the iHomant LED strip light by Minger. This LED strip light is $69.99 on Amazon, and I will put the link in the description if you decide that you want to buy this for yourself. Now, this review is not sponsored by iHomant, but they did send me this product for free so I could review it for you. So these are LED lights that attach to the back of your TV. This particular strip light kit also has a camera that looks over your TV to see what's on the TV, and you can set it to react to what's on the TV by changing the color lights on the back. So that looked pretty cool to me, and I told them to go ahead and send it out. So now I'm here to take a look at it. Let's get it unboxed. Just got a plastic wrapping on the outside. And here we have the inside. Okay, so thanks for choosing iHomant. And it looks like we have a control box. LED lighting for TV manual. Some random papers. A measuring tape. The lighting strip itself. The AC power adapter. And the camera mount and the camera. Now we have it unboxed. Next we need a TV. Uh, maybe let's try a wall mount TV. Much better. But now we gotta take it back off so we can install the LED lights. For those of you interested, this is the TCL 43S405 43 inch LED 4K Roku TV. I bought this TV on Amazon for $279. And it's about the smallest 4K TV you can buy at 43 inches. And I wanted this specifically for this space because it's a smaller space, so I needed a smaller TV. But at the same time, 43 inches in 4K is about as small as you can get. Any of you who follow Linus Tech Tips, he just did a full review on this TV. I will link it below so you can check that out. And I will also put a link for this TV in the description below if you'd like to purchase one for yourself. I've just bought it. I haven't used it a whole lot yet, but so far it looks to be a pretty good TV for the price. Now enough talking, let's get this LED kit installed. So the first thing we need to do is install the LED light strip. Now I have the light strip for the 43 inch TV, but they also sell larger sizes on Amazon. Now if you're standing behind your TV looking at it, the right side is over here, the left side is over here. You need the USB connector for the light strip to be over on the right side, so that's going to be over here. And then obviously the center is here and the left side will go over here. Next you want to remove the backing from the adhesive. Now mine was kind of pushed into this black part so it was kind of hard to get out but once you kind of get that out then it just peels right off easily. And it also it is also inside this black part too. So we just gotta pull it off like that. Next you wanna remove the backing from the adhesive. Now mine was kind of pushed into this black part, so it was kind of hard to get out, but once you kind of get that out, then it just peels right off easily. And it also it is also inside this black part too. So we just gotta pull it off like that. Now once that's done, we're going to stick it to the top of our TV. Making sure it's about even on both sides. And now we just need to install this side and this side, and then we'll be done with installing the LED lights. Now that we have the LED lights installed, next we're gonna install the camera on the top. So the first thing we need to do is plug the camera into the camera holder. So we're just going to slide it in just like that until it snaps. The next thing we need to do is measure the top of our TV and make sure we know where the exact center is. They've included the paper tape measure. It's about 97 centimeters, so we need to go with about 48 and a half centimeters which would put it right about here. Now we take our camera, we peel off the adhesive. Oh, 
And we center the camera right on our centering mark. And then we just push down. And I'm gonna hold this for about 30 seconds or so just to make sure it gets a nice tight connection. Now these particular LED lights need to be calibrated. So we have four calibration cards that has have electrostatic adhesive that will not mark your screen. We're gonna put one in each corner and then we'll get the calibration set up. Now that we have the four calibration cards installed, let's get the calibration started. And to calibrate it, we need to plug in the AC adapter, and then we need to plug the camera and the lighting strip into our control box. We're not gonna mount this yet because I'm not completely sure where I want it, but we'll plug it in and just let it hang there just for the calibration process. Okay, and now we're all set up for calibration. What should happen during this calibration is the light should go from red to green to blue and then white. And then after the calibration is complete, all four corners of the LEDs should turn green. So let's turn it on and see if that's what happens. Red, green, blue, white. And it looks like we're calibrated. Now with our TV calibrated, I'm just gonna stick the control box onto the back of my TV wherever it makes sense. And then I'm gonna get it back up on my wall mount and then we'll test out these LEDs. So next we, we need to remove the four stickers on the outside and then we need to download the iHomeint light app and it should look something like this. And then of course, as with everything, we have to update it. Now that we have it updated, I'm gonna take out the final two cards and then I'm gonna dim the lights so we can really see how the LEDs look on the back. Okay, and here we have the lights dimmed a little bit. The app lets me make it less bright or brighter. And that is clearly all the way off. That's about halfway. And then this is fully bright. So it seems like the app works pretty well. It seems to be fairly responsive. Now let's check some of the colors. So we've got a green. Let's move to orange. That's more of a yellow. And then blue, light blue, purple, and white. Colors look pretty good. They seem to be nice and bright. And there's also a slider on the app so you can do basically any color in between those main colors I just showed you. We'll do a lighter purple. And then we'll go to kind of a really dark orange. So there we have it. That shows the colors. But I know what you guys really want to know is how does it look with your console hooked up. So let's do that next. So with this specific LED lighting kit, we can have the lights change the whole TV or just part of the TV based on what's on the screen. That's why they have the camera. So even right now, you can see this part of the screen is a little more blue than this side of the screen. And that's because it's set for the LEDs to show the color that's on that part of the screen. Now I can set it for all. And when I do that, then all of the LEDs are the same color based on the primary color on the TV screen. And yet another cool feature of these LED strip lights is you can also make them react to the music. So right now they're reacting to not only my voice, but the music on the game. So I'm gonna be quiet with my voice so you can see what the lights are just with the music from the game. So that gives you an idea of what the lights do with the music or even my voice. You do need to make sure that the volume level on your TV is turned up or you need to make sure you're talking loud enough if you want it to react to your voice. So I'm gonna turn it back on video mode so we can see how it reacts to the game as we're playing it. And now I'm gonna turn, on, turn the LEDs so each corner of the LEDs will represent what's on that part of the screen. Now this game doesn't have a lot of different bright colors so I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but let's try it out and see what it does. And here we go, you can see that that part is a little more blue and these parts are a little more white. Let's drive around a little bit and see if it changes. So you 
can see with this particular game, it doesn't change a whole lot, but I think with games that have a lot of different colors or more vibrant colors, they will change quite a bit. So that's the basics of the iHomet LED lighting kit by Minger for your TV. Overall, I really like the lighting kit, especially for the price. It seems to be a pretty good lighting kit. Now the calibration is kind of a pain and it does take a while to set up. So it's definitely not the easiest LED lighting kit to set up, but at the same time for what you get, I feel like that is definitely worth it. The setup isn't difficult, it just takes some time and you have to read the instructions some to really figure out how to do it correctly. Now this is obviously just based on my initial findings and just testing it while I've been here making this video. So my opinions may change over the course of time, but for now I think for the price this is an excellent LED lighting kit, and it does all the basic things that you would be looking for in a TV lighting kit. Once again, if you like this lighting kit and you wanna purchase one for yourself, the link is in the description below, and I also left a link for this TV in the description below as well. I have just purchased the TV, so I haven't used it much but so far it seems like it's definitely worth the money I paid. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about this lighting kit or anything else you want me to cover in the future, as I will leave it connected to my TV for future videos and gameplay. Thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.